and now we will discuss about the relative accommodation which is a concern topic so relative accommodation what is relative accommodation the relative accommodation is actually the amount of accommodation which is exerted under fixed convergence what does it mean that the amount of accommodation which is exerted under fixed convergence right suppose this is object and i am looking at the top of this tip of this marker and this marker is actually at least more or less 40 centimeter away from my eyes right and i am looking at this tip and this tip is clear and binocularly single so how much accommodation i am exerting to see this object clearly and binocularly single so that is called the relative accommodation right but condition is under fixed convergence that is at 40 centimeter my eyes are converged you know very well whenever we see at a near object our eyes converged right convergence is very necessary to see a near object single right so the maximum accommodation which is exerted right under fixed convergence that is called the relative accommodation and there are two different types of relative accommodation the first one is called the nra the negative relative accommodation and the second one is called the pra the positive relative accommodation right and first we will discuss about the nra the negative relative accommodation so first is the nra the negative relative accommodation n r a negative relative accommodation so n means negative so whenever you see whenever you listen whenever you write a negative it means relax negative mean relax not actually negative mean relax but in the case of nra or pra if you want to remember in the for the sake of learning for the sake of uh, recalling you can uh, remember that negative mean relax so nra is actually the measure of its maximum ability to relax accommodation while maintaining clear and binocularly single vision right so nra is actually the relax of accommodation the ability of the eyes to relax accommodation that how much an eye uh, how much both eyes can relax the accommodation right that ability is called the nra the negative relative accommodation to maintain the binocular single vision right so that is called the nra or negative relative accommodation right so how can we gain how can we measure the negative relative accommodation so the prerequisites for the negative relative accommodation there are two different types sorry there are two different methods first with the help of the trial box and second is if you have uh, for opter you can gain you can determine the negative relative accommodation with the help of both of these opter f sorry trial box and for opter right so prerequisites for the trial box we need a trial frame we need a trial box with plus spherical lenses right and we need a near chart for the target right so let's go in the clinic and we can learn practically that how can we gain the negative relative accommodation with the help of the trial box or with the help of the four opter so our patient is there with reading chart at 40 centimeter and we have range of plus spherical lenses to relax the accommodation so trial frame is there and now we will add plus spherical lenses with the interval of 0 0.25 so we will add 0 0.5 and now we will remove 0 0.25 so 0 0.50 is there before the patient's eye and now we will add plus 0 0.75 and now we will remove 0 0.5 so 0 0.75 is there now and now we will add plus 1.00 and we will remove 0 0.75 to relax the accommodation now 1.25 is there and we will remove plus 1 so we are increasing plus power with the step of 0 0.25 to relax the accommodation so 2.5 is there and patient respond that the font is still clear so we'll add some more plus power and 2.75 is there and patient respond that the n8 line is blurred and now we will add we'll go back we'll add plus 2.5 and remove plus 2.75 and 
and patient respond is that the font is clear again so plus 2.50 is our negative relative accommodation and now we will repeat the same procedure for negative relative accommodation with the help of our opter so our patient is there yes so we'll set our for opter before the patient's eye here we go and patient best corrected prescription for distance is there and that is minus 3.75 in both eyes and now we will find the test which is negative relative accommodation so let's find out i am rotating the knob and there it is the negative accommodation right we will select the negative accommodation there it is so we have negative relative accommodation we have blurred point we have recovery point and we have 0 0.25 steps so patient is looking at the near target we will select the near target at sharp 40 centimeter and patient will look at the n8 line one line above the n6 our lamp is illuminated and now i will increase the plus power before the patient's eye and patient respond is the n8 line is clear after every increase in plus power so plus 1.752 plus 2.25 plus 2.50 it's still clear right so if i go at plus 2.75 patient respond is the n8 line is blurred now so plus 2.75 is our blurred point and now we will go back to plus 2.50 and that plus 2.50 is our recovery point and that is negative relative accommodation and now we will discuss about the pra the positive relative accommodation pra positive relative accommodation right and whenever you write positive whenever you listen positive right so positive mean stimulate right as i as we have discussed negative mean relax positive mean stimulate accommodation uh, right? the measure of the maximum ability of the eyes to stimulate accommodation the maximum ability the measure of the maximum ability of the eyes to stimulate accommodation that how much an eye can stimulate accommodation right so what is the definition the measure of the maximum ability of the eyes to stimulate accommodation right under the conditions and what are the conditions when this object is clearly or when this object is clear when this object is binocularly single so again the definition is the measure of the maximum ability ability to stimulate accommodation to see an object which is at near clearly and binocularly single so that is called the pra the positive relative accommodation right and the normal values for the positive relative accommodation are minus 2.5 right if you want to gain if you want to determine the positive relative accommodation you need a trial box with minus spherical lenses right for the negative relative accommodation we need positive spherical lenses for positive relative accommodation we need negative lenses or minus lenses remember right so we need a trial box with minus spherical lenses we need trial frame and we need near chart for the target right and we need a for opter if you want to gain or determine the positive relative accommodation or negative relative accommodation with the help of the for opter so let's go in the clinic and we will learn in the clinic that how can we gain the positive relative accommodation with the help of the for opter or trial box so first we will use the for opter patient will remove his or her glasses again the patient prescription is there which is minus 3.75 we will set our for opter again before the patient's eye patient will look through the for opter 
and distance prescription is there and now we will start the procedure which is positive relative accommodation we have to stimulate the accommodation and now again we will find the test positive accommodation which is actually positive relative accommodation so there it is the positive accommodation we will select yes so there is positive relative accommodation and we will add minus lenses so we have our blur point we are we are increasing actually the minus power to stimulate accommodation you know minus lens always stimulate accommodation so we are increasing minus power and patient is responding that the n8 line is clear so 1.25 1.5 1.75 minus 2 minus 2.25 and the n8 line is still clear and at minus 3 or minus 3.25 patient respond that that n8 line is blurred so our blurred point and we will go back to the recovery point which is minus 3 so minus 3 would be our the positive relative accommodation and this is the maximum stimulation of accommodation and now we will repeat the same procedure with the help of trial box we have trial frame and now we will add minus power because minus power always stimulate the accommodation in the patient's eye so now let's start we will add minus lenses simultaneously so we have minus 0.25 and we will remove minus 0.25 and we will add minus 0.50 lenses simultaneously in one go right so patient respond is still clear that n8 line is clear so we will add minus power gradually until the n8 line is blurred so we'll add minus one font is still clear line is still clear actually we are stimulating the accommodation by adding minus lenses so we add minus 1.25 and now we will still increase the minus power to stimulate accommodation so 1.5 is there now and now we will add more minus power to stimulate the accommodation so we still adding minus power by the interval of 0 0.25 so until we reached minus 0 minus 2.75 font is or line is still clear right so minus 3 now and this is blurred point patient respond that at minus 3.00 the n8 line is get blurred so minus 3 is our blurred point so we'll so we'll go back to 2.75 so that 2.75 would be our positive relative accommodation and now we will discuss about the interpretation of the results and you know that the normal value of nra negative relative accommodation is more or less plus 2.50 and if the NRA is more than 2.50, then it can be uncorrected hyperopia or latent hypermetropia. Because the patient is appreciating more and more plus to relax the accommodation, so it means the patient has uncorrected hypermetropia or latent hypermetropia. And now we will discuss the interpretation of the results of positive relative accommodation. And the normal value of positive relative accommodation is minus 3.00 to minus 3.50. And if a patient has PRA value of more than minus 3.50, then it's a diagnostic sign for excess of accommodation. And patient is appreciating more and more minus. So it means patient is actually stimulating more and more accommodation. And now if patient PRA value is less than minus 1.50, then it means the patient has insufficiency of accommodation. Because as we are adding minus lenses before the patient's eye, patient is unable to stimulate the accommodation. Right? So it would be insufficiency of accommodation. So that was all about NRA and PRA. And in the very next video, we will learn about 
the very important topic called anomalies of accommodation.